Hey guys, welcome to Odd Jobs. My tractor here got some uh, hydraulic leaks. We're gonna see what we can do to find them. Stick around. <laughs> start by lifting up the back end and supporting it on jack stands and that's because we need to run the wheels which are powered by the hydraulic system. Take every precaution that you can here. These machines are really heavy and if they vibrate when they're running the last thing you need is it falling off its jack stands. I also block the front tires and that's to prevent them from rolling. Uh, using the frame of the tractor is the best for the stands, as the machine and all other zero-turn machines don't have an axle. I'll let you in on a secret. I already know that the leak is on this side. There's always been a small puddle underneath this wheel whenever I park it. So I came straight to this side to remove the tire. I love this electric impact gun. If you need to shop for, for an impact gun, I recommend going with electric over the pneumatic. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that the leak is in this area. I'll use an air gun to clean off the wheel hub and the hose connections. I want to make sure it's clean and dry so that I can easily detect leaks. I'm hoping the leak is just in a hose a fitting or a, a connection somewhere. That would be a lot easier to repair and probably a lot less expensive. The, the leak started last summer and it's cost me about half a quart of fluid every time that I go out and cut the grass. And that's a pretty slow leak. But worse than the leak, it's, it's the mess that it makes. I'll inspect the hoses and fittings in this area for anything obvious. And when, once I'm content that everything's okay, then I'll start the engine. Underneath the seat are all the hydraulic controls. On zero turn machines like this one, the engine uh, typically operates the cutting blades and the hydraulic pumps. And it's the hydraulic pumps that power the wheels through the hydraulic motors on each side. There's all kinds of safety interlocks. And for me to test the motor, I'll have to bypass the safety devices. Now I'm removing the control arm here for the motor so that I can operate the motor while I'm standing outside the machine. Start it up. We're going to let it idle for a minute, but in this state, there's no fluid flowing anywhere through the motor, so there's no leaking. So let's engage the motor.
I'm not seeing anything here. There's no squirting, there's no oozing, there's no seeping, there's nothing. After a few minutes of watching this, eventually I see right there a few drops of oil on the asphalt. I'm going to have a look around in the back. So you can't see where it's coming out. You can try and get underneath it with the camera. I'm not still not seeing where it's coming out. But at least I got somewhere to go. I know at this point it's inside the wheel hub. So we'll get a better look. We're going to open up the wheel hub. Now there's nothing in the manual that tells us how to do this, but it looks pretty simple to me. Pull out the cotter pin and uh, take that nut off. I was really surprised by how loose this nut was. It really took nothing to, to turn it off. So I loosened it off as much as I, I dare and then um, I decided to disconnect the brake cable. Now once I pulled the hub off I realized I didn't have to do that. As long as the brake wasn't engaged you'd be able to slide off the hub. And when we slide off the hub, you'll see that the uh, shaft that holds it on is tapered. And that's why it doesn't take much force to keep a nut on. We're going to have to clean this up too. We're going to have another look at it. We'll clean it up. We'll start it up again. And see what we can see. As soon as the wheel starts to turn, you can start to see some oil seeping out right there on the bottom. Yeah, no doubt, this is where the leak is coming from. This isn't necessarily a good sign. Finding the leak is one thing, but if the leak ends up being inside the motor, that can be a very costly repair. It just might be easier to replace the entire motor. at the point we're at now the uh, leak is definitely coming from right in here there's a there's a bearing in there and I'm sure that there's uh, also a wiper seal that's on there as well um, and those seals in here are gonna need to be replaced we're gonna we're gonna get the part ordered that we're gonna need for this in the meantime I'm gonna continue to uh, keep topping up the fluid until I I get it. at least I know where it is and uh, not something that's going to cause me any kind of grief over the short term. So let's put it all back together. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And visit the Odd Jobs store for some cool merch. Thanks for watching. And to support this channel, follow the links in the description.